Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Dud Throttleman, the Veteran Mood Springs Piston Cup Racer number 33 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review let me discuss something. So Dud Throttleman is an Axello Fission EA Piston Cup Racer that raced for Mood Springs and bore the number 33 and replaced the previous racer Chuck Armstrong from Cars 1. In 2016 he, uh, he along with many other veteran Piston Cup racers attended the Dynaco Light 350 at the Motor Speedway of the South and the Dynaco 400 at Copper Canyon Speedway. When next-gen racers began dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he was dismissed by his sponsor in favor of a next-gen racer named Ed Trunkin, who, unfortunately, I don't have, and is one of the rarest cars to get in the 155 scale cars diecast line by Mattel. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his happy, joyful facial expression, his black grill and headlights and a number 33 underneath. And on the hood, we've got a, the Mood Springs logo. And on the left side, we've got the blue rims on the black wall light year tires and the Red arrow indicating a pity to lift him up. Number 33. And light year on the front fenders. And the Mood Springs logo. And the gas cap. And a few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitro Aid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. And on the top we've got another number 33. No name signature. And on the truck we've got the Mood Springs logo. And the, the and on the back side we've got the tail lights and the camera. And the Mood Springs logo. And the... And on the, the exhaust pipes and the on the back bumper, we've got another number 33. And on the right side, we've got an, an exhaust pipe, similar design, but completely different. And that is it. Now let's compare them to the other Mood Springs racer, Chuck Armstrong from Cars 1. Here are some similarities and differences. Both are blue. Both race in the Piston Cup for Mood Springs. Both are number 33. Both made by Axello, and both are Fizzons. Angry facial expression. Happy facial expression. 2005 Mood Springs logo. 2016 Mood Springs logo. Axello Fizzon. Axello Fizzon EA. Number 33 on headlights. Number 33 underneath headlights. Dark blue. Light, medium light blue. Both have no name signature and a number 33 on the top and the Mood Springs logo on the trunk. Both have the number 33 logo. And the number 33 on the, both sides, and the Mood Springs logo, and the gas caps, and black rims on Lightyear tires, blue rims on black wall Lightyear tires. Several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, their sponsor, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons. Leakless Retraining Clutch Aid, Lesser's sponsor logo saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitro Aid, Octane Gain, Clutch Aid, Arrow at the bottom, no arrow at the bottom, Exhaust Pipe on the left, no exhaust pipe on the left, both have the Mood Springs logo on the back and the tail lights and camera on the back, no camera on the back. 33 on tail lights, number 33 on the back bumper, exhaust pipes at the back, no exhaust pipes out the back, 
and both have the exhaust pipe out on the right side and that is it now let's compare dud let's pull up some some of the other XL Fish on EA Piston Cup racers. We've got Brickyard Lee, Brian Spark, Rev the Rev and Go Racer, aka Joshua Josh Leverson, Buck Baring Lee, Parker Brixton, Tommy Highbanks. And Terry Cargas, even though his diecast model resembles Cal Weathers. And the other Excello vehicles, like Mac Icar, who is a normal Fijon. Core Copper, who is a Rapido SI. And Manny McGear, who is a Microlux. And that is it. Now, what do you guys think? Which Team Mood Springs racer is your favorite? Although I wish I'd have Ed Trunkin, but unfortunately I don't have him. Which Xcelo Fish on EA Piston Cup racer is your favorite? And which Xcelo vehicle is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as leaving any suggestions of which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next. And if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel for public watch hours and consider the support. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!